so in serving and leveling uh, we have completed all the practicals and uh, today i am just uh, going to teach you that how to prepare the how to prepare the uh, sheets right so uh, let's we start with our first practical uh, that is chain uh, survey so if you look at the observation table uh, so in observative in observation table uh, we have the name of the line uh, and uh, in the second column we have the uh, length right length of that corresponding line right so that is in the meter right? the length is in so i think uh, uh, you have prepared a small sketch right of the field uh, demarking the points of the uh, or the boundary points of the particular float a b c and d so you have done the chaining of a b c e and a and then we measure this length a c so it means after completion of your uh, uh, chain survey uh, chain survey you will get the length of ab bc cd ea and ac right so uh, according to your survey you got the length of these five lines right suppose the length of uh, line ab is uh, 42 meter line bc is support 37 meter line cd is suppose 45 meter line ea suppose 35 meter and line ac you measured uh, it as a 57 57 so now you have this observation table right so uh, that observation table is required to be plotted on the drawing sheet right so suppose i just uh, put here a uh, one a uh, drawing sheet uh, suppose uh, this is your uh, drawing sheet and uh, on that drawing sheet you are uh, going to just prepare on one object one uh, that is uh, your title block and uh, at periphery you will uh, just uh, leave the margin right just margin so here you have to provide the margin of uh, two to three centimeter and at every each side three side there will be a one centimeter so once you have this drawing sheet uh, including the title block then after according to your data so first of all i will just uh, take this scale uh, suppose i am taking scale uh, is equal to one centimeter is equal to one meter it means that uh, if you want to plot the line ab then you will plot the line ab measuring 42 cent because your length on the field is 42 meter and you have taken the one centimeter is equal to one meter so here you have to draw the line measuring a b line measuring 42 centimeter and we just mark a b then after we take the b we take a b as a center right we just take this b point as a center point right and we take bc bc that is 37 meter your bc is 37 meter is 37 meter uh, so we consider the uh, we take the center p at the center point and uh, 37 centimeter radius and we just draw one r right so it means that uh, your b is the center and uh, you take the radius is equal to 37 meter similarly we consider the a point as a center point and we take ac that is 57 meter so we take a as a center and 
then we draw the arc having the radius is equal to 57 meter so this intersection of these two uh, uh, arc is uh, your point c right that is your point c so i will just join this a and a then after we take a as a center and b a that is 35 so a as a center and 35 meter as a radius and we draw the r similarly we consider the c point the c point as a center point and we take cd that is 47 meter so 47 uh, meter 47 centi 40 uh, sorry 45 centimeter arc that is your intersection of the arc which represent the point so we are just going to join this cd and a b so see uh, it means that and, uh, we plot our uh, a b c d uh, our plot this this data that is uh, 42 meter here it is this is equal to 37 meter this is your uh, 45 meter this is your 35 meter and your s is equal to 57 meter it is in the meter uh, but here we convert this one meter is equal to one centimeter so indirectly it is 42 uh, sorry it is 42 centimeter this bc is 37 centimeter it is uh, your cd it will be 45 centimeter and your da will be 35 centimeter but we have to represent meter right because that is your measurement on the field and your s is 57 so you have now uh, um, triangle 1 and triangle 2 so in calculation of the area uh, here uh, you have to just find out the area so uh, that is done in your uh, separate paper so you have the triangle uh, that is your let me just put triangle first triangle that is a c e, and e. and another triangle is your another triangle is your a c e, and c. right so um, in this triangles p In this triangle, two triangles A, E, and this one is the B. So this is triangle one and this is triangle two. <coughs> number. And this one is your one number. So to find out the area of triangle A, B, C, that is triangle number one, right? Triangle number one. In uh, that uh, case, So uh, here for this uh, ABC triangle, uh, we take uh, we consider the Heros theorem, and according to Heros theorem, we divide this uh, A, B, and C. A, B, and C. Okay. So in triangle ABC, ABC, we consider this uh, AC as a A, uh, AB as a B, and uh, BC as a C. So your A will be AC, your B will be AB, and your C will be CD. Right? Uh, sorry, CD. So uh, according to Hero's theorem s is equal to a plus b plus c divided by 2 so here your s will be s is equal to s is equal to 57 meter so 57 plus a b a b is equal to 42 meter so 42 plus uh, c b or b c that is 37 meter so 37 divided by 2 then area of triangle area of triangle that will be under root under root s s minus a s minus b and s minus b so uh, once you have this value so let me just calculate what is the value of the s right a value of the s so here 
we take 57 plus uh, 42 plus 37 that is equal to 136 so here it going to be a 136 by 2 right so that is equal to divided by divided by 2 so that is 68 right here it will be a 68 so we put the value here that s is equal to 68 so under root 68 s is equal to 68 minus a is equal to 57 then 68 minus 42 68 minus 37 right and then we just multiply and calculate so one by one we will calculate that 68 minus 57 that is 11 so here under root 68 into 11 into 68 minus 60 68 minus 42 that is 26 so here 26 into 68 minus 37 68 minus so 68 minus 37 that will give you 31 right here it will be 31 now we going to calculate the multiplication of this value that is 68 into 11 into 26 into 31 that is and we take the root right root of so square root of this that will give you the value that is 776.42 776.42 so the area is 77 77 6.45 square meter right square meter so this is the area of triangle one right Similarly, we considered A, B, and C for the another triangle and then we calculate the area of the second triangle. So, area, total area of your polygon A, B, C, D, uh, that will be the area of triangle 1 plus area of triangle 2, right? That will be a total square meter. I think uh, this is how you have to uh, prepare one drawing sheet and uh, this observation table uh, is required to be plotted somewhere here right exactly over the over your uh, title block right so you have to write down this uh, observation table exactly above the title block so this is your uh, first practical that is a chain survey right and uh, that is chain survey and you have to plot it and you have to write down the uh, theory part uh, as per your um, anyway.